Hello and welcome back to Box Gaming. I haven't played this in a few days, so let's reorient ourselves. Okay, so we're making lots of money. I think we went all the way down to the gold mines. Yes, we did. We have some unrest, but it's actually quite a bit. Wow. I did get religious IDs, and I think, depending on our technology, we should get a Diplo ID, really, but I prefer to get Humanist. Humanist is amazing in this patch. Oh. Okay, hmm. We have the decisions. Nope. Nope. Okay, so we're, ah, okay, so we're quite overextended. That's why we're getting rebellions. Okay. We can invest into Diplotech. Yes, we're definitely ahead of Diplotech, so we might have to do that first, sadly. Hmm. Okay, we're still converting a lot of provinces. That's fine. We have a 2-5 general, that's nice. And we have Mogadishu and Makuria. So this is Mogadishu. And this is Makuria, who we are currently integrating. Okay. We are also at war with Funge. A Funge or Funge or whatever you call it. And... I seem to recall that something happened with Nasht. Yes, Nasht lost. Um, they used to be a vassal. No, no, they used to be allied to the Mamluks, I believe, and now they're not. So I can take over Nasht, call in hedges, but don't like I won't make them uh, belligerent, and that will allow me to take some land. It'll be very expensive, but you know, at least we can take some land from hedges. Yeah, that was good. And I was hoping... See, maybe we should get a quest for a new world, because then we can go both in here, and we can go to all these little islands, which there's a lot of money to be had here. And then we can also start conquering here. And here. Hmm. Uh, something to keep in mind. Let's first um, get Funged in. You were coming up already, because you were getting ready for Najd. Very good. Okay. Now, Funge might have to be a vassal because I can't go in here anyways. And, uh... Hang on, what can I build? Temples. See, temples are really amazing because they increase the force limits. Well, five extra trade power? Uh... No. See, temples would be a great idea. Oh, we also need a two diplos. Uh, two advisors, really. Okay. Okay, so I will make some temples. Because temples are going to be great because they increase your force limit. They increase pretty much everything. So it's, uh, it's really, really important to have those. And, you know, we're a little bit behind in tech. So I guess maybe we shouldn't do it, but that's okay. Okay, so we're getting Funge. I still don't know if I should vassalize them or not. Thing is, I wonder how much overextension it will be. Quite a bit, because there are 61 war score. So that will be quite a bit of overextension. Thank you. Ming is killing itself, okay. That's fine now. Don't you dare ally with anyone else. They have a truce with the Mamluks, so they were at war with the Mamluks for some reason. How did that happen? Hmm. Maybe Oman or Hedges declared on Nash and, and Mamluks could call in. Something like that, maybe. Whatever. So the other thing we can do is... Um, take influence IDs and, and go more for vassals and I do like vassals but don't know Sunni zealots and hedges um, um, Sunni hedges is Sunni what are you talking about province is Sunni okay that's weird so they're rebelling against Hedges, which is Sunni. 
on a Sunni province. <laughs> sure. Um, Fund will become a vassal. Okay, well, let's have a good look at this before we do anything. Oh, crap. Okay, speed five. I have to wait till... Uh, Till this person is done in Najd. That's okay, it gives us time to finish the course anyways, which we need to do, so. Um we'll take the money, thank you. Uh, this was not smart. <laughs> My manpower sucks, I really can't afford this. Wow, Mogadishu has 5,000 troops for that little country. Pretty good. Alright, there we go. Now, how much overextension will you give me? 48%. That is not that bad. But, I'll just take you as a vassal instead. Yeah, but I will take your money because, you know. Okay, all done. Now, let's, um... I've got the supply limits here as a low. <laughs> can we at least make a better fort? We can. Okay, well, let's build that. In general, let's, uh... Whew, why haven't we done that yet? Oh, okay, they are built here. Okay, cool. Uh... And just around here, so this is a very important thing. We always bash through this province, this province. Actually, these are already reasonable. These two are the, are the main issues. Okay. So, you go to Najran, you go to Al Jav, and uh, we get ready to uh, bash a bit on, uh, on Najd. Nash no, is not going to be a big issue. Oh, oh yeah, we were doing this stuff. Um, representing the same country that sent the previous emissary, which to discuss blah blah blah. blah. Okay, he says he was looking for Preston John, <laughs> our achievement name, and we are apparently the country he seeks. Should we begin an exchange? Oh, well then, what does that mean? Portugal will be will get be asked for military aid. Well, look, Portugal's kind of bad military-wise. So, I don't really want that. The ducats are nice because I can build temples. Or 150 diplo points, which is, what, 10 months worth? Huh. The money is way more though. I know I would generally go for this instead. But I'm going to go for the money. Because I really think we need to boost our complete income. And that will help a lot with hiring mercs and stuff. And sure the 50 diplo points are nice in each category but... I don't know. I don't think that'll win us a war. Whilst having a lot of extra base stacks might. Yeah. So we kind of have to fight him then. Yeah, it's a desert mountain. Hmm. Take some attrition here, that's okay. Okay, Najd. Hedges would join, okay. Oh, I'm out with the Timurids. Huh, I forgot about that. Uh, we'll go for uh, superiority, which is nice. Let's wait till this guy arrives at least. Now, I don't have any claims on any of this, so it's going to be very expensive for me to take, but uh, we'll see, I guess. Now, we'll go one more leader. 
Let's see. Sure. Now Hedges will join, yep. Now I'm going to beat myself a bit on him, but I don't think I'll take too many losses, to be honest. Yeah, take 8, I am tech 8, and I've got him. Oh, I did not expect that. Okay. Well, I'd prefer you don't walk away, really. 16, 17. Damn it. Where are you going? Jeddah, okay. You can do something about that. Stop it. Squash. This will be a good fight because there's just a desert here. So no minus penalties and we're crushing them completely. Holy. Nice. Nice. Very nice. Okay, so you can go into Nash and you can keep following this guy. Um, look at all these rebels everywhere. I just want to see what this is, because if there's a big rebel stack there, it's going to... I feel it's not too bad. 14, 17. Okay, we'll fight them there. That's fine. I have double the numbers. And we stack wipe them. Nice. And we will siege these four. A bit of a slow carpet siege when you have these little troops, but that's okay. You can make temple. Okay. See, the money we get from taxation is only 8 ducats at the moment, but that won't go up. Why is it only 8 ducats? I've never understood this calculation. So taxes... Uh, let's... So the highest one is Gonder. So let's, let's look up Gonder. Um, here, our capital of course. So... Total tax income 5.5. Oh, that's per year, is it? Oh, that might be per yeah, yearly tax income. Okay. <laughs> I played this game for like 300 hours. I never even looked at it. I was always like, yeah, fine, whatever. Very good. Our cores are coming in. And uh, Makuria, can you. Um, You take him. Oh, that's so annoying, you can't click this. Uh, Mogadishu can do that, and Punch, can you do that, please? Thank you very much. Oh, this is annoying. <laughs> Fun boat stopping me from going there. Where's my fleet? Go there. Nice, it's actually bigger than I thought. I didn't count on these two provinces. It's nice. Alright, so. It's good so far. I'm gonna lose a lot of men, a min again, but. That's okay. We're getting territory, that's all that matters. Peace over from Naj. Concede the fear. <laughs> Guess what? That's not gonna happen. Missionary is almost done. Cores are almost done. Nice. Reformation branches out. Pretty scary Ottomans, by the way. Scary Venice as well, wow. Sweden, oh yeah, Guillen was out. I'm starting to remember now. Holy crap, look at Bazaar. Hmm. Pretty interesting uh, world, actually. Bohemia is growing. Hold on. Tree. <laughs> Brabant, wow. You're insane. Nice. Okay. That was the, uh, the world update for today. I always love looking at this stuff, because it's so random what happens when you're not involved. It's very, very interesting. Uh, Yemeni nationalist, that's fine. 
I think that's because I'm converting in some places, so I'll just ignore that. Oh man, I'm playing an Ottoman game as well, and I really wish I had the, uh, the same siege speed. <laughs> Take Suakin from rival Mamluks. Wow. The Ottoman will be our friend? I don't think so. No. The plus 40 will only get him up to like plus 60 or so. Nah. Unless, hang on. Nah, never, never. It's sad, but uh, might as well get that done as well. Tar. Very good. Also, can someone take care of Mecca, please? Oh, Makura is ours. Wow. Thank you. Speaking of the devil, you go kill him. So we need to piece out hedges first. And then after that we'll do uh, the rest. Okay, so... 1.10 thing. The siege of something is over there. And that will be it. That will be a full coverage siege. Did you get some men? Oh, wait, there's no one there. Yeah, uh. You're moving here. You are moving to us here. And I am. You're moving to. Mara, so no one's here yet, okay. Ottomans, religious unity. Nope. Claim Aslan, yeah, I can do that. Now, do I need to start fighting the Mamluks? Because that's going to be terrifying. I do really wish the Mamluks would help with that, but uh, there's no way. There's no way. At least I can make him a little bit weaker by taking Hedges out. Hedges is usually surprisingly strong. She's Vyabrin, Tabuk. So you might as well come back home, build another temple. Eh, serious? Okay, that's fine. You just do whatever you want. I'm not gonna... Oh, oh. Don't fight. I'm not going to take that land anyway, it's too far up. I might take, you know, one or two provinces only. Yeah, probably this one or this one. Or maybe these two as well. We'll see. I don't want to make take too much because it's very, very expensive. Because they are not my claims. I lose the prestige, conversion. These conversions are lightning fast, beautiful. And I love this new Defender of the Faith they put in, in this, in Art of War. So what they change is that when your ruler dies, this doesn't go away. Which is great, because now you can just keep it forever. It's just amazing. So pretty much every single game that I've done so far, as long as I was not sort of like a weak Sunni state or a weak uh, Catholic state, I always take Defender of the Faith. So like as the Ottomans, you might be called in, you know, in some wars, but it's not an issue because you're so strong. And the same as like, well, Ethiopia's Coptic, so no one's going to call me in. So it's just a lot of bonuses. Sure, technology is 5% more, but that's really not enough. Like, Come on, siege these two, that's what I want. 
<laughs> I don't actually want any of this. Of course, I need it for war score, but still. I want this one, this one, and this one. And maybe this one, and this one. Austria is again the uh, Holy Roman Emperor. That's fine. Okay, I'll uh, I'll have to put in a break here. We're just over 20 minutes, and this might take you know a few more minutes. So um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.